Well, I, I really am feeling that, that same, um, that tension, you know, and it is, it's, it's, it's a, you know, we, we, we are going into an unknown territory and what's, what is a bit nerve wracking for me is just the number of animals. I count at least 20 animals near the carcass, knowing we are about to enter the water. My whole stomach starts going into a knot. I focus on breathing, put all the good encounters in the front of my mind and push the nightmares away. Crocs seem to be everywhere, following the smell of the meat. Everywhere we turn, crocodiles are waiting in places where the current is least strong. It's a maze blocked by dragons. Suddenly the croc turns on me, ready to attack. Then he goes straight for me. Then something happens that I could never have imagined. I watch in disbelief as Walter begins to ride the crocodile across the river in the direction of the boat. Even though the crocodile is slowed by Walter's heavy weight, it does not shake him off or attack. It feels like I'm watching some strange fairy tale as Walter rides the crocodile some 50 meters across the river. I have no explanation for why a predator allows such intimate behavior.